you know, I mean, people think it's bad now. Let me tell you, it was, <laughs> it was even funnier back in the day. Be it cut weight or missing weight, these grumpy old MMAs have seen it all, and nothing comes as a surprise. Weight division is drive me nuts. It's really easy this sport. There's a set of unified rules in America, and if we all just use the unified rules, do you know what? No arguments. Nobody has to ask for silly weight categories on forums or Facebook or anything like that. All they have to do is say, "I want a lightweight fighter." Um, yeah, I'm probably by no means the worst on this. Um, my good friend, Mr. Chatfield, he's far fucking worse than I am. I love it when I'm watching watching the forums and I'm seeing all these uh, these people asking for. Oh, I need a fighter. It's uh, 71.5 kilograms. Oh, just don't eat pies today. Yeah, the thing, the thing that really does boil my piss is like when people announce catchweight fights massively, massively in advance in weight classes that aren't even real. You've only got to go on the forums, do you know what I mean? And there's like people saying, I'm looking, and it's, it's, it's how niche it is. Do you know what I mean? It's like I'm looking for somebody to fight K1. Do you know what I mean? Like, it might as well be one boxing glove and a fucking flipper, 71 kilograms, fucking tie class C against a debut guy. And it's like, come on, how long have you got to work this one out? Can't you put something, can't put you put something in place other than get blatantly, so to get your ticket seller and go, right then, what can you cut down to? Oh, 72. It's all right, we'll do it in catch. Go around the country and you see fights booked for months in advance where you've got, we've got these guys fighting at a, an 88 kilogram catch weight. And it's like, well, you're either in one weight class or you're not. Catch weights, well, I'll be a hypocrite if I say I hate them because I, I do use them. And it's a needs must, you know, in a perfect world, you know, everyone will sit there and make weight and, and it will all be great. But, um, yeah, it's uh, far from a perfect world. The thing that gets my goat is when you see people asking for 89 kilo fighters and, uh, you know, 73 kilo fighters and... But, but not in the last minute, you know, we're talking six, eight weeks in advance or a catch weight of not, and I'm like, really? You know, your guy can't make a contracted weight inside of eight weeks? Yeah, you sign a contract, you're signing a contract to say which weight you're at, make it. There is nothing else on that, really. If people see it as acceptable and it, people breed it, then, you know, you'll have more shows doing it. And you know, you've got a lot of shows leading the way who won't do it, but then you get these shows popping up all around, and it's just it's one thing that I see that just grinds my gears a little bit. So, I, 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 right, I'm not going to say that there's no reason to have a catch weight. There are reasons to have a catch weight. The reasons that I can think of: last minute fights where somebody's dropped out, you need somebody to replace. Um, and, and sometimes when there's uh, bad blood or a specific reason for two fighters in between divisions to, to have a fight. The problem is when you do that is that both fighters could be at a disadvantage. One guy's fighting a little bit heavier than he should be, next guy's got to cut more weight than he should be. Yeah, but you missed out on the NSAC title oh, yeah. as well. I mean, that, <laughs> that's one that really, I mean, once I start, there's, there's a few belts floating about with NSAC or in honor, so you can be the Nevada State Athletic Commission champion of North Watford oh, you go. at 70.5. Kilograms. Kilograms. Just gets so confusing. Just deal with it in pounds. Everybody should deal with it in pounds. It seems to be the standard and it needs to stay there. Uh, kilos. Uh, uh, you know, as great as they are, they don't work with unified rules. Um, and I really don't want to argue with a, a naked six foot five man again over 40 grams. No kilos needed, no half kilos, no nothing. Just stick with it. Pounds, no problem. I think when it comes to the, the kilos and pounds as well, you know, it's just how we do things in the UK. Um, for me, it's far easier in pounds. I've, I can remember funny stories of like people turning up on wanes and, and they get on the scales and I'll give them their weight in pounds. I might say that, you know, 191 and these guys are going to make 186 or 185 as a middleweight. And then they'll turn around to me and go, well, can I not weigh in kilos? I'm like, you can, but you're not going to be any lighter. Missing weight? I've got no time for people that miss weight. If you're being a professional, fuck's sake, be a professional. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't turn up three hours late to referee a show and go, oh, do you know what, sorry, I couldn't have a dump this morning. Yeah, I mean, I've saw people miss weight over the years. Some people miss it by a bit. Some people miss it by their own fucking weight category. 
Yeah, they're, they're in the stratosphere, these guys. I didn't see all right. The slide did the 156.55 pound champion. The all time, time rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight wartime rules. You know, the unified white cats are there for a reason, and it's just getting people to understand that, you know, laziness is not an option. If I'm three pound or one and a half kilos, should we say, in new money, away from a weight category, and I've got eight weeks to do it, you better bet your ass I'm gonna make it on that weight. And the quicker people get into stop making up their own weight categories and stick to what we know, then the, you know, that hallowed ground that we're all looking for is gonna be far easier to get to. Oh, <laughs>